my intro. We got the biker gang going on over there. Hey, what's going on folks? Bonfire Fishing here, and so welcome back to another episode. So for today's episode, we're gonna chase the state record largemouth bass for the state of Illinois, where I live. So I'm gonna pop up a photo of the fish I just caught two weeks ago, I've been talking about it. But I don't know if you guys have Instagram or not to see it. But yeah, it's a five pound bass I caught right out here. So we're gonna see if we can catch bigger out here. This place has been around for 37 years. If I can catch two pounders, three pounders, five pounder really easily. Actually, the five pounder was hard. I'm gonna see if there's even bigger in here. I think there might be a possibility for a 13.2 ounce bass. A 13.2 pound bass. There we go. Because the state record is 13.1. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch a bluegill, put him on his live bait, cast him right out there. There's a brush pile that sits right out here. Got the bridge. So it's gonna be next to two hot spots for today's episode. Hopefully we can get a big bass. Talk to you guys in one moment. All right, so I just got some like little bobber rig with a bobber, little weight, and then a night crawler. I really just one of those little red wigglers with the green dye, radioactive pieces of crap. I don't know. And I think a little ultra light going for bluegill will work just fine. I don't know if there's any bluegill over here. If anything, I'll just go on the other side. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a little bass. Guys, I just watched a bass just attack a bluegill. That was awesome. Oh, my goodness. The bass wasn't big, but it just smoked the bluegill. Oh, I wonder if the camera was able to pick that up. I wish you guys were on my head now. I didn't bring no head cam. I still got my worm. Whenever you lose it, just grab a stick, break it off. Oops, that still doesn't work. Broke it off way too bad. This was too thin. So there we go. Right in there like that. Break off a little extra. And bam. You got your bobber to work. Just stick a stick in there. It's as deep as I'm going. Just a half a foot. I can't cast with an ultralight for the crap. Oh, there we go, guys. Oh, he came off. No, I actually had one. I felt him fight for a moment. There we go, right underneath the bridge. It's aggravating. Yesterday, the bluegill were all up and down the banks, up on the surface. Today, it's like, I don't even know where they are. There we go, I got me one. Woo, got our first piece of bait for the day. Let's get this guy rigged out and cast it on out there. Okay, I got a small little circle hook. I got the bluegill, putting it right behind the dorsal fin. Ow, I hate fins. Put it all the way through it. There we go. It's all the way through. Barb is sticking out. There's our bait. To cast them on the bottom with a one ounce big weight right here. Let's see if we can get a catfish or a big bass, hopefully a big bass. Since our bass are sitting on the bottom, I figure that your first bottom lure for at least two feet off the bottom. I just casted that bluegill off. That was nice. We gotta go catch another bluegill. That is extremely great. I've been going out there a bluegill for 25 minutes now. I'm tired of this. I can't do it no more. I'm gonna walk around once with the lure. If we can get any bass. Alrighty guys, I beg that this guy won't come off now. Two hours later and I finally got one. This time I'm going up by the head. Just like so. There we go. Let's hope he doesn't come off. Okay, and... Right around out there. Not as far as I wanted him, but it's better than nothing. He's down there about eight feet. <laughs> Six, eight feet. It's crazy. Hope that works. Maybe we might be able to catch a big calf fish out here on that. 
or big bass, world record bass, I mean state record bass. Where we go? Let's go. I can bass fish actually now. I felt him in it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Felt him in it, gave him some time to eat it. It was on that mystery tackle box jig. I was t saying how trash they are. I wasn't prepared to use it yet until now, until the end of the month. On that mystery tackle box jig, it actually does work. Just not when I received it. Like I said, I should have received it in November, December, and it's like two days from December. <laughs> we got us a, a two little two pounder on the jig. Hooked him pretty good. Oh wow, his belly though, it's nice and chunky. He's been eating. Guarantee the crawdads is what they're really been eating. I'm gonna get this big dude back. Felt him pick it up so I let him have some time. Really love and gave it a nice hook set. Alrighty, see you, buddy. Oh, that was such a bad release. Sorry, dude. So like I did with the bluegill, I put it down on the bottom and the bass just picked, picked it up, the jig on the bottom. Oh, it's all good signs. It's all good signs, but I'm imitating a crawdad right now. And that seems like what they would be eat. So nice and easy. Alrighty, two more casts and then I am calling it. It's getting colder out here. I hate how the sun's going down much quicker and then after school I only have two hours of fishing and then I'm fishing out in the cold and I don't have anywhere close to my house that's 30 minutes that's only like 30 minutes away or whatever alrighty that is it alrighty guys so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video I didn't catch a state record but I also spent two hours trying to catch a bluegill so that was not fun and I can't believe I lost the first bluegill in the cast um, but the bluegill actually sat out there too long and sadly died and I'm like oh I hate when this happens I'm like you can't use them very long I thought maybe an hour of him being out there would be not, well, give him still time to live, but I didn't, and I'm like, whatever. I feel bad, but it happens. Um, I heard that someone bought some raid baits using, uh, saying that I sent them, or uh, sent you to them. Thank you for that. So anyways, if you guys purchase raid baits, tag me um, on Instagram, Bonfire Fishing, and I'll give you guys a shout out on my page. But anyways. I learned that they want crawdads out here because I was slow rolling a jig on the bottom where it just slowly creeps on the bottom. It was pretty fun, not gonna lie. But I got other places to go that uh, might have some state records. There is one place that might contain a state record buffalo. And I'm very curious because I'm like, if I can get a state record buffalo, that's a state record, not gonna lie. So maybe a future episode, I'm gonna go with state record buffalo. That's about it. I'll talk to you guys in the very next episode. Make sure you guys go press that like button, subscribe, notification bell, and what am I missing? Comment, I guess. Yeah, that's about it. See you all in the next episode.